I'm the attorney for Ms. Bernadette Pickwood, and she is the leaseholder of Block 16, Parcel 2127 in the Bilama area. Um, she's a single Belizean. She lives in the U.S. and works, and as she gets money, she sends it back home to her family to try and build a house for her. She had already put her 15 piles on this land and came back this Christmas with money to start cast uh, do her foundation and lo and behold to her surprise she finds out that someone else has her lease but it's not just someone else her lease was cancelled by the ceo the former ceo of the ministry of natural resources miss beverly castillo who's an aspiring politician and they had the audacity at lands department to then immediately give that land to the mother of beverly castillo miss maud williams and to miss beverly castillo's son who is Marvin Castillo Jr. When my client found out, found out about that, she was totally devastated and then she got in touch with me. We have done everything behind the scenes. We are going public because this is the last straw. We've written the Ministry of Natural Resources. We've put a caution on it. We've written the uh, Ms. Williams and Mr. Castillo to tell them to stop. But as we speak, they're trying to now cast the beams over that pile. Now common sense will tell you, if you go on a land and you already find some development there, your duty is to go find out who's the person that owns that. Because even if you feel that the land department have you the right to give it to you, you have to know who you'll, you'll compensate if it reaches that point. So it is so sad that in this country, you hold office and the first thing you think about is to trample people. And not only trample them, you take the land and you give it to your own relative. I mean... They don't even have shame. I weep for those people because I don't know how they sleep at night. And that's what has happened. So now we've tried to go through the process. We know at the Lands Department that they have issued an urgent call for it to be converted from lease to title. But we will fight it. We will fight it because it is wrong. I don't care what they say. The basis they have to do. The law is clear. If the Lands Department felt that my client violated every co any covenant of her lease, the National Lands Act states that one of the first things they had to do was to then send out to my client a notice of their intention to terminate her lease and tell her why and give her reasonable opportunity to go defend her position. That never happened. The records show that on the 1st of November, her lease was cancelled, and on that same day, it was transferred to Maud Williams and Marvin, Marvin Castillo Jr. So what reasonable time would she have had to even say or do anything? But worse yet, my client never got any notice. That is an injustice, and it's a pity that we have to end 2013 on such a note. And to think that the former CEO intends to be a politician, is running for office, I just have one thing to tell her. You're starting on the wrong foot, on the very wrong foot. Reconsider your action and give back my client her land. So what now on the way forward? Well, we will move the courts and we will go public. My client is a very humble person and she didn't want to go public. She has appointed her brother as her mm. spokesperson and they'll go public. And what, is, what people don't understand is that these people are not just any Belizean. They have been hard-working Belizeans entitled to their little piece of land.